go back just for a night i would see the future and i make it all right happy new year <coughs> have a bit of a sore throat which is a bit questionable so ignore any voice cracks that may happen it's the end of january but i realized that i didn't explain what was happening in this video so yeah new year is the time where you reflect on your past year and you think about what you want to do differently you set new goals and set action plans to reach those goals so i thought that maybe in january i try and journal daily which has been very interesting for me something very new i've always journaled like i have a journal here starting from 2015 but i've never journaled daily so this was a very interesting month for me it started off with a reflection on new year's day we sort of had different categories of things that we wanted to reflect on and we started with relationships and so i have this paper of my reflections because i decided to write out my reflections on paper some of my friends decided to type out their reflections and then we sort of shared our thoughts afterwards we went on to talk about our goals for the year reflecting on what we think we did well in the previous year who impacted us the most in the previous year or like how we thought we grew in 2021 and how we want to grow in 2022 that was quite an interesting start to the year i feel like i usually do that with my family like my family does this thing where we say our peak and pit of the year which is um, reflecting on the best parts of your year as well as the worst parts of your year I decided to try a different journaling style every week because I know that journaling is something I want to continue throughout 2022 so I wanted to try out different styles so that I would be able to choose which suited me best and which I could work with throughout the year as compared to just sticking to one and making sure that I stick to it throughout the year and not knowing if it's the best for me personally. The first week, unfortunately, I got my... not unfortunately, but I got my booster jab and so I was sort of like lazy throughout the whole week and also I had so much to do in that week like getting my life sorted again after practically a month of holiday so i actually didn't really journal much let's just skip the entire first week of january moving on to the second week i started just writing about my day in my book i quite like the aspect of handwriting my journal entries because i just want ways to reduce my screen time because i feel like i'm spending so much time on my laptop so much time on my phone and um, journaling sort of provided me with a way for me to step back from electronics and just reflect about my day. One tip that I learned through journaling is to title your work. So obviously you would want to talk about what happened in the day and how that made you feel etc. But I think that adding titles to your paragraphs because you sort of go on tangents but having a starting point for example. One of my titles was school is online this month. And then I went on to talk about how it made me feel about whether I would want to go to school in person or if I'd rather take classes online and why I get so upset every time I make the decision to do class online instead of going to school. I think that just adding titles in general helped me focus on what I'm trying to talk about and also it's a good way to look back at your entries because instead of seeing long pages of text, you can look at the title and the date to sort of focus on what you want to look back on like if I want to look back on the moments I journaled about my family I can go back and look at all those titles and if I want to focus on when I was contemplating my career I can look at those titles and it doesn't have to be one title per entry like within an entry I could put in several paragraphs with different titles I just got so caught up in the moment Didn't even realize we were and then the next week, I started to focus on future self-journaling. So this is something that I learned from Jen Im. I don't know who else does it, but I feel like it's quite a common thing to do. And so you start every day answering a few questions about yourself, your future self to be specific. So I answered seven questions every day. 
Number one, my daily affirmation. Number two, today I will focus on shifting my pattern off. Number three, I am really grateful for. Number four, three, three, three traits. Why is this a tongue twister? Three traits my future self will have are Number five, the person I am becoming will experience more. Number six, I have the opportunity to be my future self today when I. Number seven, when I think about the person I'm becoming, I feel. I guess I could share a bit. I mean, this is quite personal, but like, in general, yeah. For number one, my daily affirmation. To start off, I had to literally Google what an affirmation was. I mean, I knew what an affirmation was, but I didn't know how to write a daily affirmation. But I've learned that it's just something that you know about yourself and that you want to make yourself aware of. Simple things like, I am in charge of my own schedule. And then that sort of sets the tone of what you are going to do for the day. Today, I will focus on shifting my pattern off. For example, I had shifting the pattern of taking naps in the day because I have such a bad habit of just falling asleep and wasting the entire day. So, you know, when you write it down in your future self journal in the morning, when you're in that zone, like about to fall asleep, you sort of remember like, oh shit, I told myself that I'm not going to take naps today. So it sort of stops you in the tracks when you're about to do something that you know isn't good for you. Naps are good for some people, but like I just, I sleep nine hours at night and I shouldn't be allowed to take naps in the day because I just sleep too much. And then number three, I'm grateful for. I guess this was quite easy because I did a video where I wrote down what I was grateful for every day. So that wasn't much different from what I had been doing. Number four, three traits. Not again. <laughs> three traits my future self will have are, yeah, I put things like confidence, not perceiving meeting people I'm not close to as a chore, saying yes more, not coming up with excuses. Like, you know, just simple things. And then the person I am becoming will experience more. These few questions are quite self-explanatory. And then like, um, I have the opportunity to be my future self today when... It can be really simple. I feel like when you think about your future self, you think about this unattainable goal that you set for yourself. But the person I am tomorrow is my future self. So like, I just put down simple things like, I have the opportunity to be my future self today when I tell blank about my availability to meet today because I have this tendency of not meeting people who I'm close to and so by writing down in this journal that I'm gonna reach out to certain people to tell them hey I'm free to meet this week then I actually started to make plans to start getting in contact with people again in the new year when I think about the person I'm becoming I feel like, I try to answer it a bit different every day just so that it's not so repetitive. Initially, the answer to this question was like, I feel excited to be my future self because I put up such a great image of who I'm going to become and like how I'm going to get there and I feel like it really is attainable so I'm just like excited to be there. But then it started to grow into a place of I'm feeling impatient to meet my future self. Like, when is she going to come? Like, I'm already putting all these steps into place but I still feel like I'm the same person every day. Yeah, I guess that's the process of journaling and reflecting is like, maybe I can do more to meet my future self faster, if that even makes sense. Yeah, I quite like this future self journaling. Because um, sometimes when you journal freeform, you don't really know what to talk about. Future self journaling sort of takes a more um, productive approach to journaling. Like, I feel more productive when I do future self journaling. And I do sometimes incorporate like long form stories into my future self journals because even though these questions can be answered in like one sentence sometimes i'll elaborate as to why i'm feeling a certain way but i felt like it had to be done in the morning which if i missed a morning i wouldn't feel right doing my future self journaling in the afternoon i felt like if half the day is already gone what's the point of journaling and i could just wait till the next morning to journal again that's one downfall of the future self journaling is that it's a bit too structured for me. Okay, so I'm going to Cambridge this weekend and I don't think I can bring my journal because it's like I'm only carrying a backpack and so I thought that maybe instead of trying out a new style of writing in my journal, I'll just 
um, try and do it on my phone because I've also noticed that writing in my journal like physically although it's quite therapeutic it can get a bit difficult in a sense like sometimes I'm a bit too lazy to like get out of my bed and take out my journal especially if I'm journaling in the morning so maybe journaling on my phone this week may be a bit easier but I don't know if I'll get the same satisfaction out of it so let's see how that goes I don't know if I can film much because like obviously I film using my phone and I will be journaling on my phone so not sure how that will work out In the last week I decided to use this app called Dailyo where I can write my journal on my phone I know I mentioned the fact that I want to reduce my screen time and that journaling in a book is a lot better for me but um, just because I was going to Cambridge over the weekend and it just so happened that that week I went to Cambridge on Saturday and Sunday and then Monday I fell sick I was basically in my bed the entire week so I guess it was quite a good week to journal on my phone because I didn't have to get up to get a pen and paper to journal every day The app Dailyo was actually quite good it has a, a mood tracker incorporated into it and it's also very customizable. You could track your habits on there, but I already tracked my habits on Notion, so I didn't really use that. At the end of the day, I think throughout 2022, I'm going to go ahead and keep to journaling in my book. Maybe journal on my phone on the days where I'm too lazy to take out my book, but like ultimately, my book will be prioritized when I choose to journal. Definitely not gonna journal every day, but when I have more time to reflect, on the day, on the week, I'll definitely journal sort of long form journals with the future self prompts incorporated into it because I really love the prompts that the future self journaling incorporates. So that's what I'm gonna do throughout the year, maybe my entire life. Let me know what else you wanna see me do over the course of a week or a month, and I'll be back with another video. Bye. Oh, darling, if life was a movie, I'd hear rewind. Yeah. Imagine if I knew how to turn back time.